Time's all got you. Thank you. Days ago, I said I'm going to be in London for the BAFTAs, and I have to do something uh, 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 about animal rights. And we set something up, and so everyone from Animal Quality set up this amazing event. This is my first banner drop, um, so it's just incredible to be here to see all the activists that are here and dedicating their lives to to fighting this cause. We are a voice for the animals. I'm just one small part. Thank you all for your activism, your, your daily activism. I'm just so incredibly proud to be here and speaking for the voiceless, speaking for the animals and having the opportunity to just establish the link between animal agriculture and climate change. And this is something that we should all be aware of that Joaquin has spoken about so passionately and it's it's so important that we that we come to realize this. And also the incredible suffering of animals in factory farms. I mean, um, I'm holding a chicken, chickens of, of, of this in, in factory farms are bred to grow so big, so fast, that they can't even bear the weight of their own body and they collapse on the farms without being able to reach the food or the water. Drakeen is holding uh, a picture of a hen in a cage, a picture taken by animal quality investigators. And um, these hens are spend their lives in cages. They can't even do this. They can't even spread their wings. Um, we need to put an end to factory farming. It's um, awful. It's one of the coolest industries in the world and that's why we're here today. I would like to, to do something to, to talk about um, the meat and dairy industry's impact on climate change, something that um, I don't think we're talking about enough. Um, people are not in a panic in the way that they should be. Like, these are very dire times. Um, and so I felt like I had to do something and Michelle reached out to her friends at Animal Equality and so we set up this banner drop. Um, and I just feel really lucky to be surrounded by so many amazing activists. I think we have a personal responsibility to take action right now. And one way that we can mitigate climate change is by adjusting our consumption, right, and by going plant-based. Um, and so I feel sometimes like that's not being talked about enough, and so I'm just encouraging people to, to learn more about about eating plant-based and to make a difference to, to, to make whatever personal impact they can on, on, on climate change, on the climate emergency. Um, how when you witness the horror that really happens behind closed doors in slaughterhouses to farm animals all over the world, it's impossible not to be affected by it and to realize that we have to do something drastic to, to, to stop it. Um, 
So I'm just doing my part and trying to amplify the, the voice of these activists that are out every day um, doing something, taking action. Um, and that's the least I could do is to take some time off um, today and to come here to talk about this issue. Is, this is a, an emergency right now, right? Um, so we have to do everything that, that we can to try to cut down on our, uh, our impact on, on climate change. Um, but it's, it's more than, there ha than it has been in the past. I think people are more curious. Um, I've experienced this in my own life, so many people, people that I've known for years that I've talked about veganism with um, that weren't responsive now are asking me um, more about it. Um, so there is, there is progress, um, and certainly compared to when I became vegan in 1977, uh, there are huge strides. I think we're all hypocrites in some ways, right? We all struggle with what the right thing to do is, and we make mistakes. Um, but I think that the, the one thing that I can do right now, right, because I, I, the industry that I'm in does consume uh, a, a lot of power, it consumes a lot of resources, right? So the way to mitigate that for me is to maintain a vegan lifestyle, right? So I think that that's what we can do. And, and that was, I think, the, um, our appeal to the, the award ceremonies. There are so many people that are flying in for the awards, they're driving the, the cars there. The one thing that you could do is to make the meal plant-based. Um, so I think we just try to find that balance. Nobody's perfect, like we're all trying to figure it out, right? Um, and I think instead of being judgmental and attacking each other, we should try to help each other and educate each other about how we can change. And there's certainly many things that I need to do, many improvements that I can make in my own personal life. Um, and I'm trying to do that. And I encourage people to to talk to me about that, right? And to educate me, right? Because I don't, I don't know everything. I'm just trying to figure it out also, right? Um, and I hope that we can just be open to, to each other and, and really hear each other and hear the importance of this message. Thank you.